Um, so um, I'll also go over some uh, recommendations at this point, um, which I think will help you guys um, uh, moving forward with how to think about these issues. And uh, when you talk about trauma, you wanna talk about um, the Brain Trauma Foundation guidelines, which I think um, get revised every few years um, and, and uh, really uh, create a good consensus agreement on what to do in certain situations. In terms of ICP monitoring, there isn't good level one evidence. However, there's uh, level 2B evidence, uh, which suggests that they should get some kind of ICP monitor to reduce um, in-hospital mortality. Um, previously, uh, they had had more specific um, recommendations of placing an ICP monitor, including an abnormal CT with a low GCS or normal CT with a very low GCS and hypotension. Um, at our institution, what we do is, uh, is basically follow this abnormal CT um, and uh, low GCS um, uh, requirement. And the reason is we're looking for a diffuse brain injury or signs of diffuse brain injury that might evolve over time and that you can really only get by examining the patient and also monitoring their ICP. Um, so uh, some of you may have already placed uh, an external ventricular drain at this point. Um, so I'll just be reviewing how to do that real quick. You, paste the, you place the position supine in, with the head of the bed up, it's typically called the Fowler's position. Um, and uh, you uh, have their head in a neutral position and then you mark Coker's point, um, which is in this right frontal area, make incision, do your twist drill, your dural opening, pass your catheter, and then you tunnel it under the scalp, which you can see sort of here, um, attach your catheter to your manometer, kind of uh, one of the methods that I use. <laughs> if you take your finger uh, and you know the measurements of your hand, then you can find Coker's point just by putting your hand on the patient. Um, so if you put your index finger at the nasion, you put your thumb aimed to their, their ear, then right at that junction, couple centimeters away in front of the coronal suture, you'll find, you'll find Coker's point. And you gotta make sure that when you're passing your catheter, and really this starts at the drill, um, you want to be aiming uh, perpendicular to the bone. And uh, if you need other landmarks to guide you, you can aim towards the contralateral medial canthus and the tragus uh, uh, laterally. So you can use those two points to help you, but if you, if you aim contra, uh, perpendicular to the bone, it won't fail you. Um, and this is an example of an AVD that I recently placed. Um, in, you know, aimed in the, the right lateral ventricle toward the foramen of Monroe, which is where you want. Hey everyone, Ryan Rad here from neurosurgerytraining.org. If you like that video, subscribe and donate to keep our content available for medical students across the world.